part of Zeebrugge. Right, it's view from my cabin. I'm going to put my big coat on and I'm going to shoot upstairs and record as docking out. Folks, as I say, here we are docking at uh, Zeebrugge, and it's uh, let's have a look at me. time. The time is 7:35 ship time, uh, 6:35 UK time, and there's a, a warship. I presume it's a French one. Oh no, a Belgian one. We're in Belgium, isn't it? So it's going to be a Belgian warship. Uh, and another one, two Belgian warships. What exactly they are, I have no idea, but uh, obviously because the markings on them. So there's the coaches to take people into to town. Some smaller one to take you to Port Terminal. It's a bit later on tomorrow this morning. I'll go to Port Terminal. You can see we're getting closer and closer to the dock. There's a crane. A couple of guys getting ready to pull us in wide up there and it is down there so we're edging slowly slowly see we're edging slowly slowly towards the dock pulling us in there Dock at that end. So there you have it. We've arrived, as they say. Then we'll be getting ready to put a gang plank on. First of coaches, another one arriving. All coaches are arriving to take people. Oh look, there's a third warship. Must be a naval part as well as uh, a civilian part. And a fourth one. Never noticed that there's four warships. Must be from Belgian Belgian Navy. <laughs> We're probably looking at the whole of the Belgian fleet. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. And uh, there's two ships there that uh, could very well be. And another one there, look. One, two, three, six. 
so it looks like seven seven ships them them three there I'm not sure but they I think they're warships as well or part of the Belgian Navy uh, I don't think that is yes so we're here folks we've arrived in Zeebrugge got up really early to film this for you for you folks back home look at the hot tub bubbling away right well as I'm up here I think I'll go down to Lido and if, if it's packed, if it's really packed with people, I'll come back and get a breakfast later. Oh no. Uh, yes. Breakfast is from 7.30 till noon for full English. And from 6.30 to 7.30 was continental only. So there you have it folks. Well we started with porridge, some juice, coffee, and we'll this we'll go back and get the breakfast itself. There's the breakfast, scrambled egg, sausage, bacon, potato biscuit, beans and tomatoes. Uh, no mushrooms unfortunately. Maybe tomorrow. So let's uh, try it. Sausage. Mm. Very nice. Scrambled eggs, nice. Mm. Mm. That's very nice. Very nice. To say no mushrooms, so I've got this. Uh, I think it's fried bread. No last grounds neither. I mean, thought there'd been last grounds. Been a British ship. But there you go. Get them on all the American ships. <laughs> Maybe ask grounds is an American thing. There you go. Well, folks, here we are in Zebra Business again. Uh, just been up and had some breakfast as you've seen. Uh, to be brutally honest, that uh, the sausage and the rest of it were nice. The, the bacon were a bit tough, but the rest were alright. I didn't realise we docked on my side at ship. You can see down there, there's the pier. You can see those warships again now from this angle. Coaches take everybody to, uh, I forget where it said it was, 20 minutes away. It's where they get the train to go to Bruges. But uh, when we're facing that way, we're facing them. Uh, we've backed into the dock. So we must have come in and, and turned round and backed in. I missed that bit. Because we, we lost an hour on the way here. Because we're gaining now, we're on way back. <clears throat> More coaches coming. There's some small ones, some little red coaches, which take you to the terminal. And a bit later on this morning, I'm going to go on one of them and go to the terminal, do a bit of shopping. 
Yeah, a few things. Well, hopefully I can, I can use my card in terminal and uh, get some fridge magnets and etc. Anyway, that's all there is to Z Brother. Oh, this part anyway, where the dot is. So we'll speak to you all again later. Right folks, here we are. Going into Belgium. And we're just going to go to the terminal. We're not going to go to, to Bruges. Well folks, as the Americans say, that were a bust. Uh, there was nothing in the place. There's a shop, a, little, a right little shop, but it doesn't open until much later. So we're going back to the ship, and then there's a shuttle that takes you to a place called Brankenburg. Uh, it's 20 minutes away, I think. And that's where all the shops and everything is. So we might, we'll get that and go to that. Uh, and then, have a look round Brankenburg and come back. Bye for now. The size of this ship. Despite me saying I was not going to leave the park, you see we went to the terminal building, nothing there, so we're going to Blankenburg, which is about 20-25 minutes away, on the free shuttle bus. And, uh, we'll, uh, we're going so we can get a few presents for people. Assuming that uh, they take my card, because 
because I've got no euros. So we'll just have to wait and see. Despite what people keep telling us, there is, some said it were uh, uh, that woman in terminal says it were a 50 minute walk, a 50 minute bus ride. Then uh, there's people on cruise ships said it were a 25 minute bus ride. In actual fact, it's about a 10 minute bus ride. So we're going to go inside station because we're saying that the, the shops are, oh there's another shops over there but look at it. You can see Blankenberg. These look like shops down there. Ambulance. Oh I want one for you. I forgot to mention. There were an ambulance in the park by the ship, so somebody must have been getting taken off hill. There are a number of shops down there. the station so we'll have a look in station because she said you could get probably get things like fridge magnets and what have you which is what I really came for in the station <coughs> so we'll have a look inside station Right, so here we are. I to be, there was nothing in the station. That lady said that they were on the bus, said there were things in the station. Only thing in the station was uh, tickets, bulbs, and then trains, trains. Now, this looks like a souvenir shop. Looks like it, doesn't it? That looks like a souvenir shop. So we're going to go in here and see what they've got. Right, well I was wrong about that, it was a supermarket. But uh, worst comes to the worst, they, they did bath bombs and I know Adele loves the bath bombs and so does Amaimi so I might end up coming back and getting some of them if I can't find any shops that sell fridge magnets. So we'll uh, see what else there is. That. Strawberry tart, pastries. Tart. 
ties. Trainers. Fashion. There's an hotel there. Bellambo. Diva. Airwinkle. Well, that would have bust at uh, another supermarket type thing. Here's a large supermarket. Shoe shop. Super drug. Tea room down there. Well, it looks like it's a bust. In regards to getting fridge magnets. I might have to get them something else. Shoe shop, shoes, lots of shoes. Tea room, accessories, flowers. Something you don't often see. DNR accessories. down here. These are just hotels. Yes, um, succeeded in getting a fridge magnet and uh, a keychain which said bomb to shop. And uh, we're gonna go back to that supermarket at the end. We're gonna get them. Uh, gonna get them. Uh, what do they call it? Bombs. Bath bombs. That's it. Them bath bombs. Because I know Adele and Amani will love them. So we'll go get them as well. And then we'll get back to the bus and make his way back to the ship.
bombs and uh, that's these and we're now going to head back to that pickup point and wait for a ne the next bus to take us back to the ship. We're back on board the ship, a bit of a palaver. I kept forgetting things in my pocket and it kept setting off the alarm as I came on board. Well, we got through eventually, we worked out. I had fridge magnets in my pocket and of course they set it going. So I forgot to say, didn't I? I got some, I'd come all the way back to port and that shop at the port were open and they did sell fridge magnets. So as well as those, Bits I got in Blankenberg. I've also got a set of four fridge magnets. So, right, we're going to go up to his room and we're going to put things away and then we're going to do a tour of the ship with everybody else. We might go and get a bit of something to eat on one of the decks. <clears throat> 
just in time. So what I'm going to do, there's my, there's the view, I'm eating my dinner. I've so I decided to start off with some uh, chicken, curry and rice and a glass of milk. That's what I'm going to start with. So, so let's have a taste of this chicken curry. Mm. Not bad, not bad. And um, rice is quite nice, yeah. So we'll, um, it's very nice. So that's what we're going to start with. Okay. Uh, second go, we've got some fish few fries, mushy peas, and a cottage pie. So, a lot. So, let's try them. Uh, the peas. Mm, nice, nice. Fish, Bantic cod, mm, nice, and finally the uh, shepherd's pie. So, so that, it's not bad. <laughs> Not bad though, not bad, but it's a bit, yeah, it's okay for a shepherd pie. Right folks, finally, we've got some uh, tart, something or other, and uh, a chilled peach melba. So we'll uh, give it a taste and tell you what it tastes like. Yes, that one, not bad. So that was the peach melba, and this is the tartar something or other. Mm, yeah, basically it's a custard tart thing. Nice though, nice, very nice. Okay. Right folks, that was very nice. We've uh, now had this lunch, so I'll take you around this buffet and show you what options were available uh, obviously I didn't eat all the options but we'll see what there is Those are cheese and bread that's the Indian selection that we had and the fish and chips section with the meat and cream we had and the uh, cottage pie uh, and then on this side there's the beef bouillon cream potatoes mm -hmm. Green beans. Same again there. And same as the other side, so there's carrots there. Indian again, bread. And curry and rice. And they've got a hot pudding, which was uh, treacle sponge pudding with custard. That's it, basically the same. Okay, so we're going to get a drink and a glass of milk and then we're going to head back down to the cabin so we'll see you all down in the cabin.